z deformity is options are flexion at metacarpophalangeal joint and hyperextension at interphalangeal joint okay ulnar deviation at metacarpophalangeal joint and radial deviation at wrist joint third option is flexion at proximal interphalangeal joint and extension at distal interphalangeal joint right last option is extension of pip and flexion of dip right okay so what is the right answer in this question is it the extension of proximal interphalangeal joint and flexion of the distal interphalangeal joint that is our option d or is it the the flexion of pip and extension of dip option c or is it the ulnar deviation at metacarpophalangeal joint and radial deviation at wrist or is it the flexion of metacarpophalangeal joint and hyperextension of interphalangeal joint right so which one is the right answer so this is a straightforward question and mostly the students confusions are between what is called as zigzag deformity and what is z deformity right so let us see what is zigzag deformity and what is z deformity so we already know that the zigzag deformity is the most common deformity and it is the earliest deformity that we will see in patients with rheumatoid arthritis so in zigzag there is ulnar deviation of the metacarpophalangeal joint and the wrist joint is having a radial deviation so that's what we call as zigzag right that's not z deformity z deformity is the one which is also known as hitchhiker's thumb right so what happens in z deformity the metacarpophalangeal joint right is flexed there is flexion at metacarpophalangeal joint and extension of the interphalangeal joint flexion at metacarpophalangeal joint and extension of the interphalangeal joint of the thumb right so there is only one interphalangeal joint in case of thumb so extension at interphalangeal joint flexion at metacarpophalangeal joint right that is what is known as z deformity it looks like someone is asking for a lift so that's why it's called as hitchhiker's thumb so let us see what is the right option here flexion at metacarpophalangeal joint and hyperextension at interphalangeal joint that's the only logical choice here right ideally this should have been the flexion at mcp joint and hyperextension of ip joint of thumb to give us more details and that becomes the correct answer